Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is Polyrhythms Part 4. And this time, we're going to talk about 4 over 5 and 4 over 7. Now, these polyrhythms, much like the ones we dealt with in the last episode, on their own, they're not really that difficult. They're just based in 16th notes, again, in their most basic form. We can obviously do pretty much whatever we want with them. So, I figured let's break them up. Let's talk about them as grooves. So, the first one we're going to talk about is 4 over 5. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need to take a bar of 5-4. We're going to cut it into 16th notes and play every 5th one. Now, as we've seen in previous videos, one of the easiest ways to figure these out initially is by using a sticking. So, this time around, we're going to use right, left, right, right, left. Over a quarter note bass drum in 5-4, that's going to sound like this. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 5 E and a 1. Let's hear it in the kit. For 4 over 7, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use a sticking. This time it's going to be right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Over, quarter note bass drum, sounds like this. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 5 E and a 6 E and a 7 E and a 1 e. Alright, so for the first exercise using 4 over 5, we're going to take that same sticking we had before, but we're just going to remove all the left hands. So within the five note sticking, we're going to play the first, third, and fourth note and leave the other two empty. So that, on its own, against the quarter note, sounds like this. Once you can wrap your head around that, it's time to turn it into a basic groove on its own. And of course, we can use double bass on it as well, using a right hand in groups of 5-16 over our snare drum, picking out 2 and 4 with 16th notes underneath. It ends up sounding really groovy, and it's an interesting sort of phrasing for this kind of thing. Alright, the next thing I'd like to do, just because I really liked how this last example sounded, let's expand upon it. So, we're going to take the groove we were just playing, but as a 5-4 kind of thing. Well, not quite. It's going to be the duration of 5 quarter notes. We're going to play this over a 2 bar phrase of 4-4. Four, four. So what we're going to do with those remaining 3 quarter notes, we could play 4 over 3. And then we can have 2 polyrhythms going, you know, back and forth within this 2 bar phrase. Um, it'll end up sounding kind of neat. So with that, as an introductory exercise, it might be easier for you to think about this as a bar of 5-4 and a bar of 3-4. And then we can change that up after. So that's going to sound like this. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 5 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 5 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1. Okay, so once you can do that on your own, the next step is to try and take it to the kit. So, let's take this as the most basic possible example we can do of this. We're just going to kick and snare in their typical quarter note placement with this stuff going on top of it. Let's try it. Okay, so the next step is harder again. This time, we're going to kind of disguise the actual quarter note that we're playing. We're going to play over it. We're just going to play constant 16th notes on the bass drum. We're going to use our hands to accent the polyrhythms on top of that. Um, now, what I mean by that is we're going to imply grooves within these polyrhythms. So, on you know the four notes across the five, we're going to put kick, snare, kick, snare. Now, I'm going to do the kick with a gong drum. You can use a floor tom, whatever you want. Uh, before we try it on the kit, let's listen to the example here and I'll clap for you guys in quarter notes so you can hear how it goes before you actually try it.
All right, so now it's going to get even a little bit more fun. Let's take the same kind of idea we were doing before, minus the 4 over 3. We're just going to stick with the 4 over 5 again. Now, this time, we're going to displace where the 4 over 5 starts. It's going to start on the E of 1. So this example is definitely going to be a little bit more difficult. Again, you might want to study the PDF on this one while you're checking it out. Okay, so now let's check out some 4 over 7 examples. Uh, this first groove that we're going to play is going to be kind of like the first one we did with the 4 over 5, where we're going to take a sticking minus the left hand. We're going to play the first, the third, the fourth, and the sixth note of the pattern. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 5 E and a 6 E and a 7 E and a 1 <laughs> All right, so this next one, we have the 4 over 7 polyrhythm existing between the snare drum and the auxiliary 12-inch hi-hat to the very left of the screen. Uh, this time, we're going to be experimenting with a different sticking. We're going to go right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left. <laughs> All right, so one more double bass example for you. This time, we're going to take that original sticking that we were doing in the 4 over 7, which was right, left, right, left, right, left, left, minus the left hand, so just... We're going to play it over the bar line in a 4-4, four, four, um, just snare drums on 2 and 4, straight 16th note double bass, and I'm going to pick that rhythm out with my right hand on a bunch of different cymbals. The last example that we're going to do is we're going to take the 4 over 7, we're going to have the 4 existing on the snare drum, and we're going to displace its start point to the E of 3 across a bar of 7-4. So this is kind of a long phrase, but it's cool because we end up with 4 equally spaced snare drum notes across this bar of 7-4, which gives a really interesting feel, especially if you jack the tempo up a little bit later. So I hope this gave you guys some insight on how to apply some of these two different polyrhythms. Now, it's completely open-ended. As usual, this is just some of the examples that I came up with. You can take this wherever you want. You can apply them however you want. That's completely up to you. So have fun with these. I'd love to see some video responses. Like I really, really would love to see what you guys are doing with these kind of things. So post some responses. Make sure you download the PDF, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.